Okay, here's what the Shogun Megazord looks like before before uh, before I do anything to it. You can see missing deca uh, decals here. Just decal re ready to peel off here, over here, almost here. Possibly starting to peel off right there. And you can see they have lightning bolts here on the instead of for that. Show you what they look like separated. Okay, here's how they look all separated. <laughs> First, of all, I'm gonna be on the right hand side. I'll start with the center. You can see this decaling here is peeling and. Messing up, that can be messed up. These little ones are basically on here just by a piece of tape. Nothing on the back. This is uh, all there is for the for the Howard helmet. <laughs> and this one, these look like the starting are uh, starting to peel on the bottom. and kind of fading. <laughs> really not in the same z correct spot from there. All weapons are all just red colored plastic, colored red plastic. Just a lightning bolt there. Eh, nothing around the back or anything. Yeah, same, pretty much the same with the blue. The part right here is starting to come peel them off. It's the lightning bolt there. Just one plain red, red weapon. And nothing around the back. It's good to hear that's missing. 
you can see here that's coming up uh, coming off there and basic just a basic work Another basic where all the weapons just basic with a glass. Yeah. Black one, I have these shoulder ones taped on. Again on the bottom, the striping is starting to come off. and just plain red <laughs> okay so that's all the the show guns what make it open Now let's get to the new uh, to the labels. <laughs> and to the customizer. Okay, here are all the Shogun Zords separate. And the starters. I did customize all the weapons. Yeah, yeah, I painted in some black here. Now, what we get for here are Some new armband labels. Well, actually, armband labels are something that's completely different. Never, I've never had them before. Never had these here before. These like little stickers here. Placement and the placement looks like better here. One there, the logo there. New he new one here, chrome thing here. Replacement shoulder bar, red band. And additional shoulder band. Let's see, I'm all that. And you get this nice little corner piece, which makes everything blend in with here. Got new labels here for on the feet. Brand new ones, all grown. On the side, you got these nice little extra details here. These here are brand new. On the head, you got these little side labels and this nice gold head and it finishes all the way around and as you can see in the back they gave you some detailing for the back the belt goes all the way around now and they got this little extra piece here
blue Shogun Zord. Brand new label here. New like uh, labels right in here and along here. New toast uh, toe stickers. These little chrome bit bit here and this leg sticker. Also, each one of them now has armbands now. As you can see, the I customized the weapon. All, all blue, gold here, and a black for emblem. Chrome for the for the NPNs. Mm -hmm. The gold headband all the way around. little chrome bits here and here and see the belt goes all the way around and the thing with this one and the pink sword is that they didn't actually give uh, give you enough for the whole belt. What they did was just gave you a couple pieces over here, one here, and then this one. But if you still have if you save the scrap pieces, you can cut the fit, the scrap edge in chroming on the side and one little spot there. So can make a uh, fix, uh, fix what they forgot to put, give you for uh, details for. Also, they had these little chrome golden these decals there. And a new one here. Two things I forgot to mention here. They also have this little li label here. And this was an extra decal I took from the pink sword. Because they apparently forgot to put one, I'll give you something for right there. See, it's basically the same way for the pink sword as the blue, except you got pink here. Now, they did actually provide a white version for here. But uh, since I have a pink, the pink sword, I went with white, I mean, uh, pink. And they have the toe bar pieces. Brand new logo here. These little triangle pieces here, for right here. That's where you get the extra one for the that I put on the red. And you can see armbands. You can see I pretty much, I painted uh, up the weapons here. Nice and white, pink heads. Let me give you a closer view here. As you can see, white and white one of these, with pink accents on the top, gold emblem, pink handle, another pink end on the bottom.
course, there's more leg stickers here. Logo here. Is he is he thing? Pretty much the same for the blue as the blue. Spell going all around with add with some more added pieces that were forgotten. Ah, the yellow replacement uh, yeah, replacement stickers here. Here. And up here. Additional new stickers here. Here. These little things here. More armbands. Also, this is a complete replacement. A little side head for the head. Gold arm man, head man. A little nice back detailing. Some black inserts for this molding here section. More here. Sometimes the, sometimes these details on here I don't need extra applicate and pressure. Eventually, you may, if that keeps happening, sometimes just. A little dab of glue will to fix that. <laughs> okay. Painted this set over black. Have it yellow, golden emblems. Oh. Also have side labels here that make everything blend in, and a chrome stripping for the side. Chrome stripping for the side in here. Armbands on all of them. New shoulder stickers. New shinier, better looking chrome ones here. Knee pad shoulder. Brand new wrapper on these. New little hair and this little belt thing now. As you can see, nice little back belt thing with these nice little details here. Nice golden little label there and nice little chrome on the back. As you can see, gold inlay, the logo, painted all black, and with added some cr nice little chrome edging on, on these extra parts.
confused at how this looks now with this all together. Is that a combined mold of the weapons? No. Pretty good, actually. It's a lot better than all red plastic. Let's get to Megazord mode. how the individual swords look now before they combine in the combined modes okay Better adjust camera. There we go. And the helmet given up. Two options for the uh, four jewel sticker. I chose this red one, the other one was orange. New evils here. It's always these ones that have to bend around the curve that end up popping them up. See, they gave you that nice little. The four fo is just all one sticker detail. And these nice little yellow edging.
say these are brand new. How will these that look? Really nice looking. <laughs> Even looks great from the back now. So this is the fully upgraded Shogun Megazord. Pretty cool. Okay. Enough customized weapons. All right, that's the review. Thanks for watching.